we know tomorrow is uh, Guru Purnima. We call it Guru Purnima. So like we have Father's Day, Mother's Day, and there are so many days, Brother's Day, Yoga Day. So we have this Guru's Day. Uh, Guru Purnima is Guru's Day. That is the language we understand. So our great, great Guru, Krishna Dvaipayana Veda Vyasa, he is the Guru of all Gurus. He is an incarnation of Lord Vishnu himself. We believe that. So, he did great work for us. So, what we are enjoying today, what we are learning today, is because of him. So, therefore, we have so much reverence and gratitude towards our Veda Vyasji. So, tomorrow is his birthday, no? According to the Puranas. But he doesn't say you should, uh, you all should uh, uh, celebrate my birthday. He says, Atmano Guru Atmaiva Purushasya Visheshata. In Bhagavata Purana, 11th Skanda, Vyadavyasi says, Atmano Guru Atmaiva. You are the Guru for you. Because Atma is the Guru for all. Atmano Guru Atmaiva Purushasya Visheshata. And Guru Brahma. The Brahma is also Guru. Vishnu is also Guru. Shiva is also Guru. Our masters are also Guru. But when we learn something from somebody whom we respect, so we feel gratitude towards that person. To show that gratitude and satisfy ourselves, we do worship, uh, we do all the offerings and samarpanams to that person. Because giving right knowledge it's a great service. Giving food, serving food is also service. Giving shelter is also service. And treating people is also service. Helping people is also service. If you give uh, medicine or uh, diseases, that's also service. If you protect somebody from suffering, that's also service. But all those services are limited, limited in physical level. All those services are mortal services. He cannot make a person immortal by giving food because food is a essential need but it needs for it says need of body physical body so all those so called services are mortal and limited but the knowledge is immortal because this knowledge takes you from this mortal body identification, superimposition to the immortal experience of realization. Immortal experience of liberation, emancipation. Therefore, that guru 
who shows you the path of immortality is greater than anybody anything so therefore yearly we select uh, no we celebrate this guru purnima is a particular day according to lunar calendar so tomorrow is full moon day so we celebrate that and in our vedas it said without guru amadruman pidruman acharyavan veda acharyavan purusho veda acharyadhi vidya sadishtham prapaditi acharyastu degadim vakta yasya deve para bhaktir yatha deve tatha guru tasye de kathita yartha prakashande mahatmana soul grace of guru the veda says without guru you cannot know so ajaryat eva vidita vidya sadishtham prapat if you learn yourself that knowledge will not grant you the ultimate truth you will get some information but for the experience of that truth one should learn from a master this is in chandogya upanishad so the guru is necessary and the devotion how we have devotion towards uh, god in shweta shweta upanishad says the same devotion one should have for guru as well so yasya deve para bhakti yatha deve tatha so therefore we can all pray to a great masters or of our vedantic and uh, our tradition so we pray to all those ma masters to give us that knowledge bestow blessings on us that we could realize ourselves we could realize that supreme brahman in this very birth here in this very birth so we can do uh, prayers tomorrow or chant some uh, something for guru and do meditate on guru so that would do so we will also have some puja as here we have a, a tradition of that puja and system like this and yeah that's uh, just i told you about purnima bhagariyo